to talk time. But we're just going to go live, we're going to go live. And that was two pack with better days. And we're going to go straight into our interview now with Andrew from TEDx Bedford. Welcome, Andrew. Hey, how you doing? I'm all right. Thank you very much. Um, could you tell our listeners a little bit about yourself? Yeah, yeah. Um, my name's Andrew Naden. I'm originally from Bolton in Lancashire, so I'm not really from around these parts, I guess. But I've been here for uh, three years, and I uh, I live and work in Bedford. Uh, I'm into brand marketing, is, that's what my job is, um, and that's really how I ended up uh, getting involved with TEDx Bedford, just uh, through looking at ideas and uh, trying to spread ideas and trying to get people involved in that, that sort of thing. Um, what is TED? Because it, it's originally TED and then you know they've, mm. they've broken it down into different um, towns and cities and stuff. What is TEDx Bedford all about then? Yeah, that's a good question because there's two things really, there's TED and then there's TEDx. And TED, uh, it's, a, it's an acronym and it stands for Technology, Entertainment and Design. And it started in uh, California in 1984. And the whole idea was to get a conference where they brought people together so they could share ideas and spread ideas um, and, and really look at some cool stuff and see if they could, they could take that cool stuff and do anything with it. Um, and then over the years, it's evolved. And about five, six years ago, uh, they started TEDx. Uh, where the X uh, signifies that um, anybody can get a license to run a TED event and then you just put your town name after it. So ours is TEDx Bedford, there's TEDx New York, there's TEDx London, there's TEDx Shanghai, there's TEDx everywhere. So we've joined that big group of you know, cool cities that are putting on different, um, uh, different events uh, associated with TED. So it's, yeah, it's really good. Um, so how is the Bedford TEDx getting on now? It's, well, it's fully organised. It's, uh, it's due uh, to happen on June the 15th this year. Uh, we've got the speakers lined up, we've got the theme sorted, we've got the venue, uh, so we know what's going on with it and now we're just uh, publicising it so that people can get involved and come along in, in a few different ways that they can. So how can local people get involved and how can local and young local people yeah, get involved? Yeah, yeah, that's really important actually because there's, there's two or three ways they can get involved. Um, the first, first way is obviously they can attend. You know, and that's cool. They can come along and they can listen to 14 speakers talking about the, the ideas that they want to share. And that would be great to get some young people into the audience. Um, we've got some um, bursary tickets, which mean you don't have to pay full price. Um, yeah, yeah. So, so anybody that anybody that qualifies, I'm guessing that a lot of your listeners are younger than me. So they'll be, they'll be in the right age bracket and, you know, possibly in, in education and that sort of thing. So that those are the sorts of people who would definitely qualify for... Uh, a bursary ticket and that would be great to see some people there. Um, another way they can get involved is volunteer so we're still looking for people to come along and help out on the day and do different bits and pieces um, and possibly the most interesting way of getting involved is through what's called a cloud activity so um, outside of the main auditorium where the, where the speakers are doing their thing uh, there's going to be um, some space where people can share their own ideas, artists, makers, um, people who you know musicians, performers, people who've got something to show uh, an idea to spread or just something really interesting to, to sort of demonstrate and if if your listeners out there have got some ideas uh, and are doing things that they think deserve wider publicity they should definitely uh, give us a call or, or send us an email and, and kind of let us know about it we'd be really interested to hear from from people you've got you said you've got 14 main speakers yeah what are they generally talking about well there's a main theme that kind of goes over the whole event which is called everyday radicals and the whole purpose of the theme is to take ideas, kind of big and small, um, that uh, have been capable of making changes to our, our communities and our society and, and, and the place in which we live. And, you know, we've all heard of you know, the big revolutionary people in the world, you know, celebrated and famous, but there's tons and tons of people out there who aren't necessarily celebrated or famous, who are doing things which are really interesting, um, which people should get involved in. And, and we're giving a platform to some of those people um, so that they can, they can share their ideas and their stories. Thank you very much. So, you said young people can get involved, and if they're in within a certain age range, they can get a um, a discount ticket. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I did I did do a bit of googling, and it is quite a lot of money, isn't it? I know, I know. The problem is that the full price tickets there they are a few quid to say the least, but yeah. it's not for profit, 
So it's no one's making any any money out of it. Okay. Um, uh, we've got to get people here. You know, we've got to pay some money to the speakers to get them here. We're not paying their fees, but you know, people need to be kind of supported. But you get 14 speakers. You get all your refreshments. You get your lunch. You get your goodie bag with some bits in it. So if you if you break it down per speaker, it's sort of you know getting around to about four quid a speaker, which yeah. you know it is value. And the the bursary tickets are 20 quid. Which okay. you know is we think you know relatively fair, and, and and we've got a number of those on offer. Um, I think there's only one or two being taken, and there's quite a few left. So we would really encourage people, younger people who, who fit the criteria, to to, to get involved because it'd be great to see them in the audience and, and at the cloud event. So if you're young and you've got twenty pounds to spare, and you you're interested in in sharing creativity, get in contact with TEDx Bedford. What's, what's your website? Uh, it's www.tedxbedford.com Brilliant. Do you have a main headline in speaker? Uh, we don't really have headliners because they're all given sort of equal billing, but just to give you a little flavour, uh, we've got um, you know musicians and we've got artists. We've got um, uh, Richard Jobson, who's a, a, an ex-punk, who uh, was a lead singer in the band called The Skids. I guess you guys are all far too young to remember this, but yeah. in his day he was a bit of a revolutionary. He's now a, he's now a filmmaker, and, and he's going to be talking about how to... I think his, the, the name of his talk is Why Spend 50 Million Quid on a Film When You Can Spend 50 Grand. And 50 Grand clearly is still a lot of money, but you know the budgets for films these days are astronomical, and he's making amazing award-winning films for, you know in the film industry, what is next to nothing. In your personal opinion, why do you think that now um, headlining movies cost millions to to put together I think that you know I think there's a certain expectation in film in films and filmmaking and also from the v viewers that it's going to be really amazing so when you look at something like Skyfall and you look at the amount of money that's put into you know CGI pyrotechnics whatever it's just you know it's an industry and it costs a lot of money but I don't think that's to say that you need all that money to do it and and you know there must be some of your listeners out there with a handheld literally with their own phone who could be able to uh, to, to make a short film, um, you know, and, and really take advantage of, of the technology that's around them. So I don't think you need to spend loads of money, but obviously it's a big industry. It's driven by, you know, years and years of heritage of the big studios in America. So, you know, that's kind of the way it is at the moment, but it doesn't mean it has to be like that. And, and we shouldn't just, you know, accept it. We should, we should challenge it and do things differently. I think one low budget film that comes to mind straight away is Paranormal Activity. Yeah. Um, I think that was done on 20, 30 grand. Yeah, and what it made in box off, box office was amazing. Yeah, yeah. Um, maybe we just need a little bit more creativity within our directors, um, and less spending. Really. Yeah, I mean, I think the creativity is crucial, isn't it? You know, mm. at the end of the day, a good idea, you know, um, is is always worth you know a lot more than a rubbish idea, you know, kind of well executed. Mm. We may as well support people who've got great ideas and that's really what TEDx is about is bringing those people together and saying yeah you can do it you've got to do it differently because you know we haven't got millions of pounds with the backing for everybody with every, you know every idea in the world but if you've got a great idea there's no reason why you shouldn't get support and, and find different ways of doing it and feel inspired. Thank you very much. Would, is there anything you'd like to leave with our listeners today? Uh, I think the main thing I'd like to leave your, you know your listeners with is is as a minimum, please just go and have a look at the website. You know, I know there's there's some financial barriers we talked about to, to coming along, but please just go and have a look and see what you think. Um, if you've got any ideas for the cloud activity outside the main room, we'd really, really love to hear from you. Um, it can be virtually anything. I mean, take a look at the theme first and make sure that uh, uh, make sure it kind of fits a little bit with the theme. But we're happy to discuss, you know, virtually anything. So musicians, performers, artists, makers. If you've got an idea, come and talk to us and we'd be more than happy to, to kind of like see how we can weave it into the event. Thank you very much, Andrew, and thank you to TEDx Bedford for coming in today. Our next song goes side by side with our next interview, which is K Coke and Rita Ora, Lay Down Your Weapons. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Well, thanks, thanks for that. I like doing that. At, it's at TEDx Bedford. Is that Twitter? No, this is Facebook. Oh, Facebook. Yeah, we got Facebook. Um, www.tedx.com. Yeah. 
Oh, there he is. Whoops. There you go. Cool. That was really good. Oh, I tell you what, if we um, if we get any any of your listeners, um, I would, what I wouldn't mind doing, say you know, say one of them, you know, we get involved, and we get loads of people. Some of them are bad, and we have to kind of sift it. That's fine. But yeah. we get someone in, it might be worth maybe doing something else in a couple of weeks and saying, hey, we've got someone. They follow up. Yeah, yeah, just a follow yeah. up. I don't know. Because yeah. I really like to get the younger people involved because as you say, 60 quid, a bit steep for most people. But 20 pounds, you know, we've got, I think we've got something like 20, 25 tickets at 20 quid. So it's a perfect opportunity. If we get, yeah, yeah if we get 25% of the crowd that age, it'd be ideal, really. Would. Thank you very much. No worries. Oh, cool. We'll check it out, spread the word.